Hey everyone, my name is Adam Lavelle. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I am going to be doing a very quick tutorial um, on uh, creating your own lighting in SL. Um, this is following the theme of the Photography Help Tips and Tricks um, group. Uh, I'll put the link of the group, the Facebook group, in the description below. Um, but uh, for the next few weeks there's going to be tutorials, information on various different aspects of lighting within SL that you can learn stuff from and you can contribute your own tips and tricks and help others. So this is my small contribution um, and I've been asked to um, do a tutorial on lighting. So I'm using Firestorm Okay, so with lighting, um, please excuse any background sounds. I've got a house full of people. Um, hopefully, it's not too much of a distraction. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So, <clears throat> I'm at my studio um, on a black background. Um, I figured if I did a black background, then you'd be able to see more the lighting that I create. Um, just using a random pose uh, stand. Okay, so let's get started. So. Let's open my graphics preferences. So at the moment, I'm just white bang in the middle in my um, graphics. So I've got nothing else apart from the standard stuff on. Okay, <clears throat> we'll minimise that because we'll change that later. So to create your own light, you go to Build, um, or press Control B, and then you select a prim. Uh, usually, I go for the standard cube and you create it anywhere and then you bring it around to close to where your AV is so let's put it so here okay now <coughs> how to turn this into light so the standard um texture is the like the wooden effect and you can change all of that under the textures um, but we'll keep it wooden for now so under your um, in edit mode we have all your tabs you go to features and there's a tick box for light click that and voila let there be light so you can see straight away the difference so take that away and there and zoom in as well. Check out those pecs. No light. Light. So straight away you can see the impact it can have by creating light on one side, you're creating like you know a cast uh, shadows on others. Um and this will be more apparent in various different wind lights, um environmental settings. But because I'm in the studio, there isn't going to be much shadow here. Now, with when you press the light, the light comes from all sides of the print box. There is a way to um, direct your light, and that's by making turning this into a projector. That I can go through in another tutorial, um, and you need to be in advanced lighting for that to work. But <clears throat> for this, for the sake of this one, we're just focusing on lighting. Now you don't just need to have one; you can have as many as you like. Um, if you're still in edit mode with your print box selected, your light box, let's say, press your shift button and click any of the arrows, and then just drag it, and then you've got another one. So what you could do is you could um, add more light to the one area if you wanted to um, cover a, a, like a wider space. And you can see the difference again. There's <coughs> no light, and then one light too light so I'm covering more of the, the legs as well now let's go radical and create one more but this time we're going to put it on this side of my AVI 
you can see on this side how the lights from this light box is shining on the print box. <coughs> So it's obviously working. Now <clears throat> you see this white box here. If you click on that, you get your color picker, and you can use that to change the color of your lighting. So let's go with a red and make it a bit darker. Let's go about there. Press OK. <clears throat> so. I've got white light here and now I've got red light here so I've created a bit of a multi-tone color image which is really good for like you know taking images you know adds more depth <coughs> so um, and again I can duplicate that by creating another one but the principle of creating them is what's important um, you know by simply creating a box hitting the light adding the color making duplicates in various different places to get that look that you want as you remember the uh, I'm on default settings in my preferences with my preferences <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my advanced lighting on and you'll see the difference so with advanced lighting it will show the glossiness on the body so I'm using the signature body at the moment and my glossiness uh, let's get rid of this it's about 50 just beyond 50 percent and the intensity as well <coughs> so you can see the impact these lights have on them so uh, if I turn these off um, so <coughs> I'm still in advanced lighting but this glossiness that I'm wearing, don't really see it too much. Um, just barely, and you know, it's just a little bit of light, probably catching from the from the skies or something, right? But then I add light straight away. You see a massive difference. Add some more light here. Now we're cooking. Um, and then let's, uh, this was red, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we'll do the same with the red. <coughs> so now you've got a whole different kind of vibe just by adding the advanced lighting option. Um, but to be able to do that, uh, you go into preferences, you just select this. Now, when you are in the advanced lighting, uh, when you have that selected, you have this box um, which will allow you to direct your lighting specifically. Um, that, to be honest, uh, I'll cover in another video, um, you know, the use of projectors. But for the purpose of this one, we're just focusing on the lights. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these. And just have the one light and I'm going to explain to you these bits here <coughs> so you've got the intensity what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my um, wind light to uh, ambient dark ambient dark basically everything goes dark so only so now like I've zoomed out so the only light source is by the projector that I've created right so here you can see just by moving I can create those shadows 
using the same kind of light. Okay, so now let's look at the intensity. So at the moment it's at full intensity. If I wanted to reduce it, I can do so. And you can see the difference already. So if I wanted like a slightly lit image, you know, you just you can kind of see something. You know, or I could even just put in the values myself. You know, so there's something there. It looks kind of creepy. This this bricky spice is uh, really eager for me to turn up. <coughs> okay, so yeah, you see, you, you can see the um, the effect that the intensity can have, and you can go all the way up to one, one being the highest value, and zero being no value, like complete darkness. Okay, radius, right. 10 is the highest. If I wanted to just focus the radius, this is the area that the light surrounds. So you see how it's only such a small area that the light is capturing. The more I add to it. So if you ever you know, sometimes you see like an image where like it's like <coughs> some part of the person is kind of like in, in the shadows this would be a good f feature to use the radius and playing around with the intensity to create those natural um, light and shadow blends fall off what's fall off? fall off is basically the um, where the light meets the shadow it's the kind of blend right so at the moment it's zero so there's no blend but when you add to it it kind of blends in it kind of blurs it out right that's the best way how i can describe what fall off is <clears throat> so the light and the shadow has more of a smooth transition as opposed to you know more of a um what's the word uh more of a distinct contrast okay so the main thing is for you guys to just figure out depending on the image that you're looking for uh, decide on these values and sometimes just by playing around with some of these values you can get a really cool looking image you know, um, and by adding that light, just creates that depth. You see, you know, like how the Arsenal tat is just kind of like, you know, brought to attention. You know, um, I'm purposefully focusing on this, I'm wondering maybe uh, Bad Craven gets to watch this because he's a big fan of Arsenal at the moment um, I won't explain why <coughs> but yeah so lighting using boxes that's pretty much it so let's recap create your light box by going to build create a print box select the lighting option and then you can choose the colour which would do here let's go with red and a bit darker and you can create the kind of tone that you want for your image and then you can add multiple ones multiple lights to add more um, to the area and then you've got these values here that you can manipulate to change the way your light emits okay um, I think that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions on creating lights in SL um, please feel free to comment below or um, send an IM um, but this is um, part of the theme 
within the photography helps help tips and tricks Facebook group uh, it's an amazing group that's dedicated in sharing knowledge um, asking questions finding knowledge um, and there is a theme over the next few weeks specifically on lighting so there's going to be some amazing tutorials done by some very talented people so be sure to join the group and check out all those videos um, practice take amazing images have fun and that's it okay take care um speak to you soon bye